Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I have been hearing so much from you guys wanting a review of the Z Blaze GTS. There are certain words that in the watch community become like icons, and GTS is one of them. And Z Blaze has now produced their very own GTS smartwatch. Check out, whoa, the packaging. Definitely uh, worthy of gift giving. It's got a little card on top. And underneath that, the nice felt cover and a module underneath. And before we go further, let me tell you about it. Banggood's got it for us, and so does Z Blaze on their official store. And this is their listing on the AliExpress site. Here's the listing for Banggood. When you click in the show notes down below, it'll take you right over here. It's in a pre-launch, pre-order time right now. Uh, it started at 20 bucks. It's come up to 30 now, about halfway through that. If you like it, buy it quickly. It's going to tap out at about 40 Of course, we could probably get coupon discounts if you're watching this a little bit later. So check again the show notes if we've got a coupon for you. It's still a really good price overall. What is it? It's a 1.5 order. Four, four inch Apple style looking, you know, square uh, watch unit. It uh, got 24 hour, seven day a week heart rate monitoring. And look, 60 plus watch faces. So if you really like a watch with a lot of watch faces, you want to do heart monitoring the whole time and some fitness stuff, this might be the one for you. Little more detail on what it's got going for it comes from their page. Uh, it's the first smart bracelet that supports Bluetooth calls. You ready for that? Uh huh. It can stay connected with others on your wrist. That means you can receive and make a phone call on the watch. And it's equipped with a large screen and can set more than 60 dials, four color straps to define your uniqueness, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, steps, mileage, calories, everything you need to know. It also supports multiple languages, timely information reminders so you won't miss important text, more wonderful functions. Look forward to your discovery. So the features are as follows. You got the built-in speaker and microphone for doing calling, the 1.54 inch full touch big screen, the dials, including a do-it-yourself dial, you can put your own pictures on there, full-time heart rate monitor, blood pressure, blood oxygen, Eight kinds of mainstream sports are built into it. It's got real-time weather as well. Music control. I don't even need to show it to you. Oh, all right, I will. After, I give you a quick look at my micro-reduced uh, spec sheet. Now, if you want to see this a little bit better, a little bit more detail, head on over to the link, because that's where all of these are from. And I use the high-end technology of... Uh, uh, inkjet printing to be able to produce this for you and show it to you in such radiant detail and completely avoid using advanced technology editing graphics, thereby saving trees. That's right. The energy it takes to run those programs is phenomenal. It runs the DiFit app, which is what I was looking for in the specs, so we know which one to uh, tether this thing with. And with that, let's put it together and see what else is in the box. The little module is in here, and they've got this little kind of secret compartment where you can see something sticking up here. Looks like a bottle opener. All right, I can pop it out, and you can just push the module straight through. It's got its own cover and its own Z-Blaze labeling on this one. They are taking pride in their name. There's the module itself. It's got, uh, looks really well sealed. There's the speaker over here, single knob. Microphone looks like it's underneath the band place. There's a plastic case. It feels like plastic um, front, too, and I don't see a screen protector on it. That's interesting. Could scratch, so we'll have to check. <laughs> I'm not going to scratch it, but just be aware of that. Um, heart rate sensor charging, and let's see what the charger's like. Deeper into the box, we get the rest of the goodies. All righty, they're using the alligator clip. That's why it looks the way it does. Uh, not my favorite, actually my least favorite, especially if it's a plastic contained uh, watch. I don't want to scratch the screen, but it does have felt on here. And the way this connects, you got to line the pins up. Are you seeing that? Right, like so. 
and then get this on here. Make sure that they're mating. There's no uh, uh, special pin to align it. So you're kind of at liberty of making sure it's connected. So when you plug this in to charge it, watch the screen to make sure it goes into charging mode. It should show the little battery icon before you do, you know, walk away from it. Um, it Definitely, you want to have it connected if you're charging it overnight or something. We've got the manual, then we've got the bands. Now, let's talk the bands. The bands are uh, pretty simple rubberized bands here with a quick disconnect pin on it, and it's shipping with the black ones. However, however, it also has available pink. Now, the band, uh, the, the unit itself is black, but you could put it together with pink bands or. Your girl, your boy, you're mixed, uh, baby blue. Okay, you could go with the baby blue bands or the uh, middle of the road gray, white, depending on how you look at it. You could put those bands on too. Which ones you want? The white ones? Gray ones? All right, we'll go with that one for contrast rather than just straight black. Uh, I'll charge it up and then we'll test it out. Oh, of course, we'll go through the manual. Sorry, I forgot. Here we go. This is a really weird manual. It's all languages together, and it's really, really tiny print. So we are going to, unfortunately, need to page through everything. But the good news is those of you who are multilingual can pick out the language you want to read and just skip to that section. Now, as you know, I'm not holding them long enough for you to actually read them, but I am doing it long enough, I hope, for you to freeze frame your YouTube and then you can read it at your leisure or come back to it for reference. I guess it's going through a bunch of the different pages and uh, features that the watch will do for us. We're going to try to cover that actually working with the watch. But in case I skip something, you can verify whether it exists or not and how it works right here in the manual. Yeah, there's the weather. I got that idea from the little cloud and sunshine thing. Uh, honestly, right now, the print is so small that even in the camera, I'm not reading it. So I'm not able to talk much about what we're looking at. I'll just show it to you. Uh, there's an alarm that looks like setting alarms and whatnot. Wow. Wow. It's a little pocket manual, so something easy to take with you if you think you need it. But most of the times, these watches are pretty easy to set up on their own. I will mention, because this is a, um, a Bluetooth calling device, that you're going to need to pair your Bluetooth two ways. You have to pair it to the app, of course, then once you install the tethering app on your phone. And separately, you need to pair the watch to Bluetooth, like you would a um, set of earbuds that have calling capability. So you'll end up with two different Bluetooth tethering setups to your phone if you plan to take advantage of the calling as well. There's the QR code for Z-Blaze. Well, it's already on, but to show you, I would just simply press and hold and it would boot the watch up. But I don't want to turn it off because I've got it paired to the app. I've got it paired to the phone for calling all kinds of things. I don't want to lose that by turning it off. Here's one of the best faces I think it's got going for it. I really like that one. It's a digital, tells you a lot of stuff. Let's walk through quickly what the watch does. Pulling it down, you got an interesting user interface. This is an interesting slide for the brightness, very responsive, not just a tap, tap, tap up and down. Uh, I have to run it on the lowest level for doing the video where it's going to wash out. So it's a really bright watch when it's fully lit. You've got your vibration controls here. This is a special low power mode right there, which I'm not going to go into either because it'll disconnect us from all of our connections. Uh, here's overall settings and then there's weather in the current area. Battery power down below should be able to twist and bring it back. And uh, date and information there. All on that panel, swiping up would get you messages pushed from the phone if you have any and you're tethered to the phone. And you gave the permissions in your app so that it would push the messages to your phone. You know, the regular drill. Um, when you go this way, we get into a whole bunch of panels. Um, we've got uh, our step count and when it happened during the day. We've got last night's sleep time and uh, hours and minutes for 
light and deep sleep. This is a continuous heart rate, which is pretty cool. And uh, I have taken it off, but I've had it on all, all last night for that sleep time stuff. If you touch it, you go back out of it. So we got to keep moving. Here's an exercise which just brings you into your choice of all the different things, including swimming. So obviously it's going to be waterproof for that. Uh, you simply start one by selecting it. Three, two, one. There's no GPS in this, so it's going to be calculating uh, your step count from the pedometer, your calories from time and, and uh, step count. Um, you got heart rate on it. And over here, you can stop it if you want to. And time is too short. Uh, so we'll just bail out of it. But anyway, you got exercise there. Then you've got this one. What will normally say phone and then turn on phone. And if you tap that, it says connect to your phone. And when you do and you're all connected, you can go into the dial pad and you can place a call from the watch through the phone, as long as you have the phone close by. So it's true Bluetooth calling. Any recent calls you've had would show up there. Then you got this one, you've got blood pressure, and each of these are the last seven entries that you've done. If you're wearing it, you just tap here to start, Come back to me and uh, it'll make a little bar chart for you for blood pressure and blood oxygen as well. And then there's weather in your area and that's about all it's going to show. Next, you get a shutter for doing remote camera and finally a player. And the one thing I really wish it had was the ability to loop back again because you either have to go back through every single one of them like that or you press the button and get it to return right back again. Should loop in my estimation. But And then you could easily go to the shutter real quickly that way. But you can't because what you do instead is go into your uh, app drawer. Now let's talk about the apps. We got a few different things going on here. I've got that same exercise thing we just looked at a moment ago. I've got the phone thing that we just looked at. I've got messages. Really? I think I accidentally touched that one. I've got the blood pressure. So all of these so far are all of these other panels. There's the blood oxygen. Here's your weather. And here's your messages, which we got when we swiped up. Why do we even need this, right? There's the shutter that we saw. There's something new. We're going to come back to that. And here's the music player that we saw over there as well. And that's it. So the only thing that this one is bringing in that's brand new is that. <laughs> so honestly, you could have swiped this way and just come into this, which gives you a stopwatch that you've got on here. Um, you can set alarms on what days of the week and what time you want the alarm. You've got a countdown timer set up in segments all the way up to two hours. You've got your overall brightness, which we just saw from sliding, but this is the one where you can incrementally increase it or decrease it. So we've been running on a number two. There's your phone, turn it on or off. Shake, turn it on or off. Theater is the mode that they're talking about to put it into that um, kind of uh, silent or resting mode. We'll try that at the very end. Reset the thing, power it off and about. You notice I didn't have any kind of volume control anywhere on this. Kind of weird when you've got a music player and you've got phone calling um, and I can't figure that out for the life of me. I do not know anywhere where I've got access to phone calls. If I come back to the watch face, come down, there's no calling here. I mean, uh, no volume. And all of these are the same things we just looked at in the system setting. So that makes it a little bit strange, especially when you consider, and I'm going to do this here. Let me get set up. Okay, I've got a little audio thing set up to play the news. I'm not going to do phone call, folks, because it's going to be the, basically the same, and i got to get somebody on the other end and all that stuff. But if I go into the player, which is here, and I hit play, it's going to pick up and start playing the news that was playing on over here. Now I'm going to get real quiet so you can hear it. You hear it? I'm only two inches away. It's really pretty soft, guys. There's no volume control here either. So I have one volume. That's the level for phone calls, for player, for everything on this one. It will play there in the background. 
and I can pause it from right here again. And that stopped it. So I see a bit of a failing in the fact that you don't have volume control on it. I don't see a way to pair this to earbuds either. Uh, so if you wanted to actually do a phone call, I guess you could pair your buds to the phone, but then it wouldn't be paired over here. I don't yeah, it just it gets kind of confusing. But um, this is what you've got so far, and I did want to show you through the app now this other watch face we're going to get to. We're going to bring the app here in a second. Uh, let me bring that up. Well, we'll just show them to you. Haven't found it here. You got some digital ones. There you go. This is one of the custom faces you can download from the app, which I'm about to bring in. And you notice uh, it has 85% whoops, my finger's in my 85% power level uh, left. And this is over almost five days of use with this. I've worn this consistently day and night. And, you know, there's no GPS, so I haven't accumulated a lot of tracks or anything for the, the workouts. But I have uh, put step count on it and heart rate and blood pressure and everything. So it's got really good battery life. And this is the only watch face I could find that has the actual uh, percentage on it. All the others just show you the basic information. So let's look at the watch faces and also what else is going on in the app when it transfers the data. It's called DeFit. We've reviewed this a lot, so I'm going to go quickly through it. When you um, log in, create your account, set it all up, tether to the watch, blah, 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 and you're on your main page, you've got your step information here. You see where it is throughout the day that you did your steps. You got your last seven days, and it shows you a chart compared to other people. For those of you who like comparing yourself to everything in the world, this is the app for that. Here's last night's sleep time, a very unusual graph. Looks almost like a streaming piece of paper or something, um, but it does do rapid eye movement time as well as when you're awake, light and restful. And it shows you a pie chart for that of sorts. And your sleep quality gives you some information about sleeping. And this was last night's sleep time. My average heart rate, my resting heart rate is computed. Highest one, lowest one during this window of time from when I went to bed to when I woke up. That's great data. You don't usually get that out of an app. Last seven day trend. And again, where do you fit on when you went to bed, when you woke up? compared to other people, and how many people slept less than you did in the average hours of sleeping. Really a lot of detail, daily, weekly, monthly, you can send it out, do all kinds of things with that. Heart rates right here, you're getting the bar chart type thing, tells you a little bit about it. You can uh, measure it, that's the only thing on the page, remotely, which is awesome. I keep talking about that for convalescing COVID folks in your house. It's great to be able to be in another room and take measurements. However, remember this does not do temperature and it doesn't have the red diode in the back. Uh, it's only using green diodes for blood oxygen. So a couple of strikes against it if you're really looking for a health watch. No volume control if you're going to do phone calls or play music with it. Inability to, I can see, tether directly to ear buds if you wanted to uh, to do that for your phone calls and your music. But it's Z-Blaze. Mm, yeah, okay, continuous heart rate, which is different but similar to what you're seeing in here when you go into heart rate. All right, there's the continuous heart rate chart, an individual measurement you can take when you press here, and of course have the diode and area covered. It's not gonna do thin air, it really is taking a real, a real heart rate. Um, and you can execute that measurement we saw from here directly on the individual one, but it also has this continuous heart rate chart and tells you throughout the day how many hours and minutes you're spending in each of these zones. So daily, weekly, monthly, in case you want to track all of that stuff. You got the same type of entry in blood pressure with a little chart and each of the incremental uh, trends here uh, on that chart and a little bit of detail about it. And of course, blood oxygen, which it describes for you here, shows you your last reading and the last seven readings. And if I hit measure, it switches this on into the blood oxygen, takes the measurement and would give you another bar chart uh, thing here. Uh, but again, you saw it, it's green diode technology. So you're not gonna be getting any kind of thing like sleep apnea or 
you know, detailed Lorenz scatter diagrams and other things that we get from really advanced health watches. So what is it? It's, uh, it's basically um, <laughs> a health watch, kind of, a sports watch, kind of, and a phone calling uh, music playing watch, kind of. And I put a little asterisk next to the kinda because none of them are really excelling in that category. In the setup, you got your notifications, alarms, and all these other things that you can do. Check for upgrades. Others gives you find your device and your time frame format and imperial or metric. You can do a do not disturb. Oh, sorry about that. That blooms this out too brightly. Uh, it's called uh, display brightness for those of you wondering. We put this on Android watches and it's so cool. You can adjust the brightness. Look in the show notes down at the very bottom for a link to the uh, resource center, which is where you can download that app. Works on a phone, of course. Uh, languages are here. The quick view is to twist your wrist and you can turn that on or off. Have all kinds of reminders, weather, set for Shenzhen right now is what we were looking at. And for the ladies, look at this. You got physiological reminders. It's registered as a female right now, so I could bring this up. And um, you can get all of the cycle information uh, when your last start date was, and it'll remind you at a certain time and tell you where you are in your cycle and all kinds of physiological stuff. More detail than most of them actually do. So if you're a lady, good sized watch, basic functions, and physiological cycle information might be the ticket for you. So that's all in here. And watch faces we wanted to show you. These are the stock ones that are in here. You can edit this one and put different pictures behind it. And you can go to more watch faces. And that last watch face, number five, is changeable. And they got some really cool ones. I brought these up before. I, I, I like them. They're, they're fun. Um, but there's not a lot of information. It's just basic um, analog time, basic digital time. Lots of them, but they're the same darn face with just different hands and different pictures. Uh, when you work your way through it, you could find you get into some that start having some good information if you're an information junkie. Um, but most of them are pretty uh, basic. Now here we're getting some information more. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, faces you can choose from, different color combinations basic black and white if you want to see something really bright calories burned or heart rate your choice his this is the one i showed you with the time uh, or with the battery life showing and you can get it in red or yellow and so forth so you have selection of any of these whichever one you pick you say download and it's going to start that process of transferring it over to the watch and once it's transferred that's the active watch face, and it replaces the previous one that you put in there as that fifth one. So you have those four other stock faces you can choose from, plus one more, and that one more is chosen from this list of down, uh, download watch faces. A lot of times you guys ask if you can put in custom faces. I don't think so. I think it would have to be set up within the app. And there you go. There's that interesting watch face that we just downloaded. You can edit the picture on that one. You can change that one totally from the list of them. And you have these three stock watch faces that are part of the watch. So that's everything of the app. That's everything on the watch. And this is where you can get it. You got it from Banggood or from the AliExpress Direct Z-Blaze store. And this is what that listing looks like. I'll have the link to both of them in the show notes down below. Uh, either one of them, they're both supporting us on this um, announcement of the uh, Z-Blaze GTS. It's a good watch overall. Uh, I've seen better, but then, you know, th this is a blend of just enough for calling, just enough for health, and just enough for fitness without going too overboard, especially when you're looking at a price of under $30. The female physiological report capability and the detailed app uh, give it an extra bonus in both accounts. So it just might be a good watch for you. Really good long battery life from what I'm experiencing so far. So I'd give it a thumbs up. But um, yeah, if you want more detail in any of those other categories, like a volume control for your phone calls, uh, yeah, there's other ones out there. Anyway, that's the synopsis of the Z-Blaze GTS. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon.